feel inside. It's always a pleasure to stop and take time to recognize the outstanding accomplishments of our students. We know that they wouldn't do what they do without the help of the teachers and the parents, and I'm so pleased to see so many parents out today. If parents would just stand and teachers, students, give them a round of applause for supporting you in the way that they've done. you need to recognize just what a, a great legacy you follow. You come behind the founder of the city of Chicago for which the school is named. We're in the process of obtaining landmark status at this time. In addition to that, great entertainers like Red Fox, Don Cornelius, Businessmen like John H. Jackson, just to name a few, state senators have sat in the seats that you're sitting in. So every day when you come here, it's real important that you understand just how great we expect you to be and that you don't forget the sacrifices people have made for you to sit in these seats. Not just during February, Artis. Not just during February do we recognize the accomplishments of black people, but each and every day we need to live that. I want to thank Dr. Williams for the welcome. At this time, we're going to have a poem. Well, let me first start off saying this program is not only an awards ceremony, we're also paying tribute to Black History Month, which is very important. Without black celebrating black history, it wouldn't just be right because black history is what put us in this school today. And this is very important. So at this time we're gonna have a poem by Ms. Aniachi, Ms. Fisher, Ms. Butler, and Ms. Robinson, and then we'll have the awards. I am an African, not because I was born there, but because my heart beats with Africa's. I am an African, not because my skin is black, but because my mind is engaged by Africa. I am an African, not because I live on its soil, but because my soul is at home in Africa. When Africa weeps for her children, my cheeks are stained with tears. When Africa honors her elders, my head is bowed in respect. When Africa mourns for her victims, my hands are joined in prayer. When Africa celebrates her triumphs, my feet are alive with dancing. I am an African, for her blue skies take my breath away, and my hope for the future is bright. I am an African, for her people greet me as family and teach me the meaning of community. I am an African. For her wildness quenches my spirit and brings me closer to the source of life. When the music of Africa beats in the wind, my blood pulses to its rhythm and I become the essence of sound. When the colors of Africa dazzle in the sun, my senses drink in its rainbow and I become the palette of nature. 
When the stories of Africa echo round the fire, my feet walk in its pathways, and I become the footprints of history. I am African. I am an African because she is the cradle of our birth and nurtures an ancient wisdom. I am an African because she lives in the world's shadow and bursts with the radiant luminosity. I am an African because she is a land of tomorrow and I recognize her gifts as sacred. Thank you. First semester top 10 students at this time. Shakina Sims. Rakia Banks. Ravon Lewis. Amina Wynn. Marilyn Chambers. And Shanitra Epps. them all around of applause, school-wide top 10. Next we have our first semester principal scholars. These students have achieved a grade point average of 3.7 and above. Shakina Sims, come on back please. Marilyn Chambers, Shanidra Epps, Marie Washington, Amber Freak, Danielle Cosgray, and Jermaine Hall. Andriana Moore, Ravon Lewis, Amina Wynn, Jamila Jackson and Kiana Cole. Give the class of 2015 a round of applause, please. Thank you. All right, at this time, we're gonna have a poem called I Am More Than Somebody Usual by Asia Hicks. And it's funny how by Tashina Garner. It's funny how remembering good memories can make you cry. 
It's funny how forever never really seems to last. It's funny how I remember your past year, but never really seem to forget. It's funny how a night could contain so much regret. It's funny how crazy and ironic life turns out to be, but the most funniest part of it all, none of this seems funny to me. Go! Okay, now we will have the awards for Bronze Scholars, class of 2012, with GPAs 3.35 to 3.69. Sharonda Sisney, Capri Hawkins, Maisha Stevens, Angela Johnson, Clarissa Martin, Ananisha Perkins, and Daryl Ballard. <laughs> Tamardi S. Jarrett, Imani Newsom, Toriana Carter, Antoine Lewis, Andrew Davis, Kayla Fenton, Destiny Johnson, Jamika Garrett. Carissa Gillings, Dennis Glover, Jada Reynolds, Sherelle Green, Deanna Sago, Shamira Come Griffin, on, Kamira Livingston, Destiny Duncan, Carissa Ford, Jada Ford, the everything and everybody, Edward J. Hall. I once had a dream like Martin Luther King that everything and everybody be heard and not just seen. Sing like Malcolm X, talk like Langston Hughes, to sit like Rosa Parks and walk up in the shoes. Pride and prejudice, can make a man from the side of your park. Flying like a butterfly, singing like a bee into hearts. Yet we continue to complain like our struggles were the same, like we beat to the same drum when we ran for fire guns. Like we suffered segregation or washed the downfall of our nation. But we moved on. African Americans and boycotts are being strong. But we let it go to waste with our cockiness and our haste and we sit with smiles on our face as we murder and provoke the ones who give us hope. You gotta break from that rope, don't let us choke. You gotta make it in life. And if not, do it for the people who thought about you twice. Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, Dr. King. Woo! Thank you. At this time, I, I want to have Dr. Williams to come to the stage. As she coming, I'll just um, go through. This past fall, Dr. Williams was recognized by the Black United Fund of Illinois, celebrated the achievement of three outstanding women pioneers. The honoree... The honorees represented leadership, those that served as mentors and motivate tomorrow's that will ensure a better future for all students. In recognition of this great achievement, we would like to present Dr. Williams with this award. And it reads, congratulations to Dr. Williams on being honored at the Living Legends Passing the Torch Gala in the area of education on October 8, 2011. Thank you, I appreciate that, Ms. Houston. Thank you so much. That's a surprise. I appreciate it. At this time,
<laughs> Ladies, stay on the stage for a minute. And Tisha, can I see you for a minute? At this time, I want to thank um, M. Tisha, who is the director of the BSI. There's been, she put on this program that you have seen today, and I just want us to give her a hand because she did a great job. Thank you, ladies. Um, and thank you to all the teachers, Ms. Uh, Robinson, Ms. Fisher, Ms. Aniachi, and Ms. Butler for uh, being there for me, especially Ms. Fisher, thank you. Thank you, ladies. At this time, um, in closing, on behalf of the BSI staff, we want to thank the parents again for coming out and um, recognizing the students that we had here today. Also, BSI students, give yourselves a hand for being a great audience today. This time, I'm going to have Mr. Hughes drill team to come up. Thank our MC for today, Mr. Anthony Greer, for doing a great job. Don't leave me hanging. Obama. <laughs> 